in the program and uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a tribute I, did, I actually did a tribute video to Alfred Hitchcock not too long ago and I am doing a Hitchcock movie and not the one that you not the one that you actually think I do like well let's just get it out of the way it's not Psycho or the Birds the, the outright horror movies and actually I don't even know if you classify this as horror but it does have horrific moments like every other Hitchcock movie and uh, what I have in my hand what I'm waving around here um, fucking I've had a porter from these guys before it was something else though I don't think it was this one but from Mill Street Brewery out in Ontario the that's the it's in vanilla porter draft beer from Mill Street Brewery and that is five percent fucking chaos as you can tell I might be hungover what that's impossible oh shit that shit's coming out oh fuck that comes up like a fucking Guinness does its little fucking sprouty bout <sighs> fucking I'm retarded what's new fucking spilling oh, only a little bit only a bit there Sorry, I couldn't show the pour. I fucked up on the pour. There's a huge fucking surprise. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> this camera is fucking going crazy on me here. Fucking camera chaos. Alright, back to the fucking bullshit. It's cascading up. Like a weird. This is a weird fucking beer, look. And a little flog. <laughs> Might have to have a little sippy poo before I do this. Tastes like a Wendy's frosty malt. What the fuck? All right. And of course, the only way to do it on my videos is to chug that bitch. Chug it like a motherfucker. Here we go. Cheers to uh, all the fathers. Happy Father's Day out there to everybody, their fathers, wherever they are. If you are one, there you go. Boom. Big ass cheers to you. And all the foam is there. Here we go. So let's get this shit going here. Yeah. Very fucking good. It's rock and roll. I might have some tunes going. I don't know. But uh, Classic Horror Series number eight. There you go. Oh, is it in there? Dial M for murder. This is a great fucking movie. I love, I love most of Hitchcock's movies. The earlier stuff is a little harder to watch because he wasn't uh, too defined in what he was doing. But when he got to about the 1940s, 50s, they, they're just fucking masterpiece after masterpiece. Fuck. Dial M for murder yet from 1950. What was it? 52? 
1955. So, yeah, that was just a couple of years before Cycle. And starring, of course, Grace Kelly. Wow. He was in a few Hitchcock movies. So this one, the uh, Murder, uh, rear, rear Window. Uh, and, uh, I think it's the one more. I think she was in three Hitchcock movies. And she's just fucking amazing. You look at her back then, it's just fucking, that's just wow. I can see why she was in movies, but um, Ray Milan and Robert Cummins also starred it. Of course, director of the Hitchcock. The master of suspense. When you went, like everyone remembers Psycho and the Birds of Good, like folktale horror in his movies, but every one of Hitchcock's movies had horror elements in it. That's why I don't care. I'm saying it's the classic part of the class horror series because of that. You might not think it's down in the murder's folk to horror, but I think it's a fucking great movie. And favorite scene. Favorite scene is the obvious scene when uh, Bruce Kelly's on the phone and the, the guy who's behind her, he keeps, uh, you know, with the thing, he keeps, because she's on the phone, there's the cords in the way. Back in the day, they had cords. Remember that? Fucking rotary. Rotary. Okay, next number. Is that the, by the time you fucking did a phone number on the rotary phone, it was lunchtime. What? That made no sense. If you were having, if you started in the morning, I don't know. Beer's kicking in. I have no fucking clue what I'm saying. Right. Anyway, you see, yeah, and she's on the phone with the, the, the guy actually, her husband, trying to get her killed. Uh, he's doing, he plotted the murder and this shit. So she hangs up the phone and pulling me right around her neck and, and uh, just the struggle and fucking boom, she, she gets a nice blow to the head there with, uh, what was it, like some sort of statue, I think, some sort of statue. And, uh, what, just a powerful fucking scene of chaos, you know? Hitchcock style. Only Hitchcock could do that. And just a, a masterpiece in my opinion. One of his many masterpieces. Uh here's the back to the this edition. I love the classic horror series. You got Grace Kelly again there. There's a, not much, it's bare bones basically and just the the cover again there. Phone and everything. Yeah, nothing on the back. Of this, this is a, good, a pretty good edition of it, actually. There's a documentary uh, on Hitchcock. And, yeah, yeah, the trailers. And there is an actual couple documentaries on Hitchcock. I remember watching the features on this, but yeah. There you go, that's about it. That uh, would be Cross Core Series number eight. Cheers to y'all, go on have barbecue. Go on have barbecue. Go on get it. it up. Motherfuckers. Okay, cheers. Rock you later.